I'm Dr. Melissa Toyos, and I'm here getting my second round of platelet-rich plasma from the Genius PRP machine. The reason that I asked for this for my birthday is because um, as I'm getting a little bit older, I started noticing a little bit of thinning of hair. You can see this is nothing terrible, but it was something that I noticed. Um, all women are going to know what I mean when I say after I'd wash my hair, I'd see a little bit in the drain of the tub, and after I'd blow dry, I could feel like five or six come out, and I could see some hair on the floor that I just didn't like. And so when the PRP machine came out, and I understood that it was good for hair growth, uh, I tried it. I always have to try things so that I can know for sure how to explain to my patients. After the first round of one bottle of PRP was injected, and I injected along, my part and then kind of around the front of my hairline, I literally had no hairs on the floor. Literally had no hairs on the floor. That effect lasted for about three months. Um, I did one bottle per month roughly every six weeks until I ran out. I had three bottles total. And, uh, and I feel like my hair is thicker. It's fuller, it's growing really nicely. And uh, as soon as the effects started to wear off, again, that took about 90 days. I knew I had to have it again. So PRP is great for women like me who are just noticing a little bit of thinning. It's not going to work for this guy. Can kind of take a look here. Yeah, you have to have something to boost or to grow. But if you're noticing some hair loss, and, and especially for women, they may notice a little bit of thinning on top. Sometimes they come in with thinning on the side. PRP is great for that. So it's uh, it's super to help with healing. Um, I use it for my mixed o resurfacing patients, um, and we use it for hair loss, and uh, we're also using it for dry eyes. So tell them a little bit about what PRP is actually, platelet-rich plasma, and what's, what's in it? Yeah, platelet-rich plasma, what you're noticing is that he's going to take about 60 cc's of blood, and once he's done getting all the blood he can out of me, we're going to spin it down and concentrate the growth factors. There are at least 20 separate growth factors in platelets. Um, and we are going to highly concentrate them. The orthopedic doctors have known for years, there's lots of peer-reviewed data, uh, know that it helps with healing, and again, all the high-level athletes, A-Rod, um, Kobe, Kobe Bryant, Bryan. Tiger Woods, all of those guys, anytime they had an orthopedic procedure, they would have platelet-rich plasma injected into the joint, the surgical space, to help assist with their healing. And in many cases, they felt like they came back better than they ever were before. So it has a lot of regenerative properties and healing properties, and uh, and that's why we've been using it to help with signs and symptoms of dry eye as well. Maybe get a little bit more. Okay. Do the other side. Mm -hmm. Let's see if that's going. So you don't have to draw off 60, you can do half of that, but I'm kind of a more is more girl, so I like I like all the benefits. Not painful. You feel a little stick, but uh, I think that's it. And then where are you gonna inject it? So for myself, I'm gonna inject it along my hairline, here the part that I wanna see thicken up. And then I just kind of inject diffusely all over my scalp because I don't like extensions. Um, I, I want just healthy, full hair um, all over, but particularly my part. And for women, what I usually do is the part for sure because that's visible. And then along their hairline is usually another place that they notice. So how many um, injections do you think you're going to give yourself? Uh, the last time I probably did about 10. It didn't hurt at all. I didn't use any numbing medicine. I often will use numbing medicine before I inject things. Um, it was extremely comfortable and I would just inject little small, kind of like Botox areas, um, just a little bit here, there, just all over. I was able to do that myself. Obviously most people don't do that. Um, took me about five minutes and there was no pain or aftercare. And then when did you start to see results? Within a week. So within a week, I started noticing that there was no hair on the floor near where I was blow drying, and um, I was super excited. <laughs> and 
think that's all the blood I'm going to get from you. Okay. Which is good. Okay, do you want to come here and... All right, so we come over here and we're going to show you how we make the PRP. So this is the genius system. So now we're going to take her blood and we're going to spin it. And this is going to be several high spins. Um, to spin this down. So this is different than autologous serum because autologous serum, we're only getting uh, plasma. This is platelet-rich plasma. And then that small fraction of platelets that we're going to get, that platelet-rich plasma, there's going to be a higher concentration of nerve growth factor, anti-inflammatory uh, mediators, and other growth factors. And the growth factors is what she wants to uh, gain hair and to stop losing hair. You can see this high spin procedure. And this takes about two minutes to do. going to take that about roughly about 60 cc's of blood and give us about 6 cc's of PRP and this is uh, revolutions per minute around 3,000 to 6,000 revolutions per minute and this is the first spin all self-contained. You don't have to take blood out or anything like that. Very easy to use. And then this is the second spin. And then we're just monitoring to get to the final spin. And then this is the final spin. This takes about 15 seconds. And again, all self-contained. You don't have to take the blood out and then reintroduce it into something. This is really the best system that we've found. And then, again, all self-contained. Depending how much blood you you drew in, it will give you this small fraction of platelet-rich plasma. But this is really the stuff that you want. So just getting autologous serum really doesn't give you a high concentration of the growth factors that you want to grow hair or regenerate nerves or cause anti-inflammation. So here she has her platelet-rich plasma. Now it's a little red because um, what we're wanting is the buffy coat, which is the um, area of the spin where there's the platelet-rich plasma, but there is a little bit of red blood cells. So you can think of it as just one drop of red in a sea of white will make it look red. So that's why it's red. But actually to get that buffy coat, you do want to see a little bit red. If you see something that's a clear fluid, that's more just plasma and not platelet-rich plasma. So then we're gonna get her all ready for injection. And where are we gonna inject? Yeah, so we're gonna take off this big syringe. We won't need that. And I use a 30 gauge. And I would just do little small injections along my hairline here. And if I were standing over someone, I would just go. You wanna show, let's see, where? Yeah, I, along the part line, of course. And then for most women, around the front of the hairline is important. And then I just kind of judiciously go in and around the scalp, you know, kind of here, here, 
just little places. I always pay attention to areas that might be thinning. Again, some women have more thinning on top or at the crown. Uh, men can be the same. And so um, I, I treat each person as an individual, but those are kind of the common areas that I inject. And it only takes a small amount. I would make a little, like a little uh, wheel, actually, with just a little touch of PRP. It doesn't take very much at all um, to make an effect in those areas. So that's PRP for hair loss? Yes. All right.